County Council is officially back and in the first work session of the new year, we got that update about homelessness. A lot of different plans and ideas. Everything's really on the drawing board right now. Nothing set in stone, but one big aspect of today was the need for more storage. Imagine taking what you can carry and hoping what you can't is there when you get back. I always would have to keep my bag with me. Chad Goodrow understands that mindset firsthand. He was staying outside the arch for a few weeks. I would never let it out of my sight. Now, he just carries his backpack as he heads out of the arch in downtown Austin. But now I get to put most of my stuff in a storage bin and I don't have to worry. That's because he connected with the Guided Path pilot program, which works to bring people staying outside the arch inside with the promise of storage, shelter, and services. And so it has allowed us to establish a relationship, some trust, and a partnership in trying to work with them. Greg McCormick, the executive director of Front Steps, says a lack of safe storage is often why someone won't come inside a shelter. So he was happy to hear when Austin Resource Recovery told city council members today that more options for storage could be coming to Austin. The ideas include a storage facility, citywide lockers, or bins like you see at Front Steps. It's super exciting to hear about all the different departments focusing on this and that there may be some real tangible solutions coming in the near future. An effort to help more people like Chad lighten their load. Going to work is a lot easier. We can put our stuff away and go to work without having to worry about having our shampoo and, and soaps and whatever we else we don't have to carry our whole lives on our back. And this is all part of that overarching idea of getting people out of temporary shelters and into permanent housing. You know, a few months ago, I talked with Front Steps when they were doing that guided path pilot program. We went out onto the streets, talked to some people who were staying outside the arch. And the biggest thing that Greg McCormick said that kept people outside, there were really three things. It was either their partner, pets, or storage. So storage is a huge aspect. While it might not seem like a big deal, it really is a key player in trying to get people into shelters and then, of course, into that permanent housing. You can find that story on KVU.com. Live in Austin, Molly Oak, KVU News.